like YouTubers, so I'm out in Seafway. Just parked the car up, and uh, yeah, I've got a new bit of kit to try out tonight. It's a lot smaller than my uh, brew kit, so I'm going to test that out tonight. Paid for it with my own money, and uh, yeah, it's just going to have a nice chilled one tonight, I think. I mean, it's going to get dark in next hour. Um, so I'm just going to see where it takes me this walk for an hour or so, and then get the tent up. I've got uh, some wafer meals, chicken, teriyaki, got plenty of coffee, you know the score. And yeah, thanks for everyone that subscribed to my channel. Feels like it's been ages since I've been out. Uh, I also feel like I forgot something, but it's good to be out. The hardest thing is packing your stuff. And then once you're on the motorway, and you've got your tunes on, you've got your bags packed, that's where the adventure starts. And I'm here. I'm in Seafway. I'm absolutely loving it. Right, let's do it. Anyway, YouTube is meant to be intermittent showers. So, yeah, I mean, I've got I've got the uh, waterproofs on now. I'm going to be boiling soon, but yeah, better to have them on than not. And to be honest, it's now I've got walking and that. This hat's I'm going to sweat on with this hat on. And uh, feel chirpy, chipper, feel good. Right, let's crack on and uh, see where this takes us. <laughs> yeah, it's gone a bit blur witch. Uh, it's a bit of fine rain coming down, so yeah. Um, I'm fully waterproofed up, so I'll see, like I say, let's see where this takes us. <laughs> So I've got my liner there, and uh, I found I found this in my liner. So I'm happy with that. I've been looking for this for ages. I'm even going to buy one yesterday, so that should keep me warm. Um, so it's a buffer in it. They call it a buffer. I've got the buffer on. Like I'm ready to rob a bank. Uh, yeah. Just get my pillar set up and then I've got the OEX 
little cooking pot I paid 45 quid for. It's the hero or something like that. Something fancy, something like, yeah. And then we'll have something to eat. I'm so happy to be in this tent. I love it. I've got a Alp kit. Um, I've got an Alp kit. Uncle Bivy bag to go over my um, sleeping bag because this tent there's a lot of condensation. I'm in the clag, and I'm going to put the and it's extra warmth as well. Keep the warmth in, so I'm going to be nice and cozy tonight. So yeah, right, let's get it sorted. Back on the X bed. Sign mat seven. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy to be out. <laughs> nice and cosy tonight. All right, YouTubers, are you ready to look inside the tent? All right, here we go. So there is the cooking kit. I've just got this from Go Outdoors. It's the OEX. Let's have a read what it is. Doesn't even say on it. Oh, Hero. He, yeah, so I'm going to be using that tonight for cooking. There's my water. There's my power bank. There's my toothbrush. Toothpaste. Gas. All my food in there. Electrics in there. Spare clothes. Towel. That's the uh, brand new OEX Hero. Dent 700. Uh, trichology pillow. I've got a liner in there as well. It's called pod liner or something. The outkit Unka Bivy bag. There we go. Outkit. Only thing with this, there's no zip on it. It's literally once you're inside it, you're inside it. So I'm gonna have to make sure I've got toilet plenty before I get inside here. Because I've got to get get out of that and then climb out of this as well tonight. But yeah. So we're going for it, chilli and rice, and uh, this buffer feels really nice around me. Let me see me. Yeah, I've got, all right, all right. <laughs> so, I've got me uh, Marks and Spencers, my, may I add, Christmas thermals on. So I'll check them out. Um, my mum got them me, thank you mum. I know you watch my videos, and uh, yeah, it, honestly, clean undies, <laughs> um, Marks and Spencer's thermals, and they're good. They they're not too tight. They're just right. Um, they're just a nice fit. If you're interested in any, I mean, you don't have to go to get really expensive thermals. Just yeah, these will do. These are doing a job, and uh, I can't believe I found my buffer. I found my buffer in something I don't use, which is my uh, inner for my sleeping bag. But I'm going to use it tonight, obviously. And uh, I'm on the chili. Wayfair is chili. Uh... Can you see that? Chili and rice. And I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be good. Um, I'll tell you what, this this is my buzz. I've not, honestly, I've not wild camped properly in like rain. Did a windy one. I think I prefer rain to wind because like so still tonight, stars are out. And uh, yeah, it's chilli and rice followed with a coffee. And I've got a Kit Kat. I'm going to save that for my breakfast. I've got some sweets as well. And it's just good to be in the tent. Everything's just right. You know when everything's right, you, you just got a good feeling. It's good. Little cook system. See how that turns out. It's just a case of boiling water in it. Um, so yeah, let's get this. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's get eating. Get this cooking. I've got. Oh, I'm so hungry as well. I'm so hungry. Mmm. Chili and rice. And the thing is, you can boil the water and use that for your coffee. The water this is boiling in. So I'm excited about that. I am excited. 
Yes. <laughs> well, the sun's going to come out tomorrow as well, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, yeah, it's all good. Nice little winter wild camp. All right, um, YouTubers. So, it's time to use the OEX Hero. Eight. Bear with me. I've got a good ear. Got it straight forward. That goes out. Get the gas. Blow the tent up. Hopefully not. Right, so let's get it twisted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Right, yeah, quicken here. Quicken, quicken. So, <coughs> wow, get that one. Sorry. Oh, die of gas poisoning here. Yeah. So, wow, load of gas came out. <coughs> right. Woo. Yeah. So, if you do use this, it's got a knob, it's got like a lever there. Make sure that is fully twisted clockwise. So when you when you take that up, when you take that out, you can fold it back in. When you unfold it and it comes out, make sure that's twisted clockwise. And then when you twist your gas canister on, it's safe because what's just happened there? That were loose. I've put the gas on and loads of gas has come out. So and it's not good. You don't want to be tent full of gas so yeah I knew something was going to happen there I just knew it but yeah I'm always wearing a new gear you know what I mean oh blood's come off there what are we saying I hope this is cooked <laughs> I'm getting excited for no reason I mean, it's all all summer tears words by his. Shout out, Dave. <laughs> He's been hitting Jim, hasn't he? Smashing them weights, that lad. Right. It's too, it feels like it's too quick, this. It's boiled too quick, you know what I'm saying? Right, let's check it out. All right, so that's it. It looks cooked and it feels really warm. Right, there's only one way to t find out if it's cooked. That's to eat it. That's so quick. That's like a minute and then a minute standing. That's really fast. Right. I'm gonna get stuck into this. Got the old there. Uh, Cuddler reset. The plastic cuddler reset. I got. I got. This, I've had it for ages. This. Right. Let's get stuck into this here. Chili and rice. Give me that little uh, stir in that. Is it cooked? No. <laughs> I can eat these cold anyway. Uh, I think the bottom is. No, it's not cooked. I should have left it longer. I mean, it's warm on my hands. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought it was too quick. Um, I mean, this chilli and rice is good. Nice warm. I'm gonna have a nice warm brew. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I can't get it in my, my mouth fast enough. My gullets. 
Oh my god, that would have been nice, warm that. I'm off to put it back on. I think it's a sheep. <laughs> I've stared some of Mmm. No, it's really good. Look at, this is a good one, this. If you get these warfare meals, get the chili and rice. I'll tell you what, YouTube, it's making some interesting noises. You don't get without kit, brew kit. <clears throat> Maybe because it's new, I don't know. Oh, we're boiling, we're boiling. <laughs> we're boiling all right, look at that. <laughs> Overlooking a vista of awesome and sacred beauty, now the great port, capital city of Diricoche himself, lay lost amid eroded hills and empty windswept by the atmosphere of mystery that clung to them. I asked the natives whether these edifices were built in the time of the Inca, wrote the chronicler Pedro Cieza de Leon. They laughed at the question, affirming that they must have a bit of a uh... Grey Mancock. And that they had heard from their forebears that everything it's a book of downloading on audio audio books. Um I am looking forward to this bro. Look at it. Look how good that looks. Period, recorded a tradition which said that the stones had been lifted miraculously. Yeah, it boils well this this little OEX he, hero. It boils a treat. Obviously you don't need much water because it's only small. And uh no looting for treasure or for building uh, materials had yet right. taken place. And though Rathi So cheers time, the site was still magnificent. Just cheers for watching this video and I hope you're well, I really do. And uh <clears throat> get yourself a beer or a brew and whatever. But this is this is to you the people the people who subscribed took the time to um watch my videos. I've really enjoyed making them. But it's been nice to have a bit of time out from them, then to come back and enjoy just the outdoors and, you know, I love it. I really do. Um, I've walked about five miles today. You can see my ref saw, I'd a guesstimate, three degrees, maybe zero, who knows, but cheers. Basin portal being all of oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's lovely, that. That is lovely. This is what camping is all about. If you had a brewing house, you would not appreciate it as much as this. Um, you can't... You, they say you can't buy certain feelings. I suppose you could buy all the equipment, but getting out here... I know it's cold and everyone was like, ooh, it's cold. Ooh, a bit Wesley, some, a bit Wesley snaps from uh, Demolition Man, uh, like you know. But if you're not done on a monobot, I'm on about like, ooh, quaking in my boots. <laughs> Wesley snaps. But anyway, back to my point. You can buy all the equipment, but no one's gonna walk you round the mountains. You have to feel that. Cold and warmth and everything, the fresh air, and it's all about little things that you uh, are massive. That uh, and you enjoy your brew outside in the cold, and you know what I'm on about. You've walked for it. You've stuck your tent up. You're all prepared for the night ahead. You've got your cuppa, and it's a natural high. Ooh, a little bit of a burp, and it's making me smile. So cheers. His lips were full. 
Oh. I tell you what, that's nifty, isn't it? Stick, stick my cup on. It's uh, plastic, mate, there. Lovely, that. <laughs> right, I'm going to listen, carry on listening to Graham. Uh, talk about... That obviously he, does, he doesn't believe that history's right. He reckons it's... Um, there was massive civilizations before 10,000 years ago in the last ice age you were quite sophistic sophisticated uh civilizations i think i'm with him i'm definitely with him history is just told by certain people you look at it you crack on and then you it's not made to really question is it but this lad he's gone for it he's questioned history big time and uh, human intelligence and what, what you know where we've come from, what we've done in the past. So yeah. But cheers again. There were other points of interest. Hope you're well. For example, the stone figure of Vera Kocha had been sculpted with the hands and arms oh, yeah. folded. <laughs> um I'm really a little bit a little bit claustrophobic. I've got I can hardly move in this uh geometrical knowledge. He made them distinguish what do you call it? This liner um, but I'm warm, that's the main thing. I'm warm, I'm comfy. Just can't move too much. <laughs> this line is a bit restrictive. Um, but yeah, winter camping, eh? Can't go wrong. <laughs> so I'm just going to listen to this podcast, and if anything happens in between now and the morning, I'll let you know. I don't think it will. And yeah, it's so good. <laughs> well, good morning, YouTubers. Um, I'm in a really nice spot. Yeah, this uh, baby bag performed really well. Um, I've just put my down jacket at the bottom of my sleeping bag in the inner to try and warm that up. It's like a bit damp and a bit cold. Um, yeah, I've got my buffer on my head. That covered me ears to keep my ears nice and warm. But I'll show you, I'll show you the view. Let's have a look at this. All right, let's have a look at the view. think about that it's lovely bit of frost on the uh, on the tent as well so there you go there's the view bit of frost on the ground I'm not even joking I have slept from about 11 o'clock and it's now nine o'clock. I've had, I've had like ten hours sleep. Amazing. It's so quiet as well and still. And this is such a good spot. The path's just over there. A mile, like you know, I'm a good bit away from the path. So yeah, it's um, it's lovely and fresh. But I stayed so warm. I didn't even think there were frost last night. But look at it. Beautiful, them clouds are uh, breaking up as well. Right, I might have another 10 minutes lie down. <laughs> and then um, get a brew on. But it's absolutely, mate, it's beautiful. It's really nice and still. Right, I'm gonna get maybe another 10 minutes lie down. Enjoy the warmth of my sleeping bag and then uh, get a brew on. Oh, God, it's so nice. It's so quiet. All right, so this is me getting out of the, uh, the baby bag because there's no zip on it. It's literally 
Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be a bit flexible in these situations. So, yeah, there's no zip on that and everything's inside. Um, my mat, my sleeping bag, the inner in the sleeping bag and everything. So like, yeah, it's a, luckily I didn't need the toilet last night. Um, right, time to get this brew on. It's fresh. <laughs> oh, it's lovely this. It is lovely. Can't beat a good frost, honestly. It's gonna make such a nice day today. Oh, it's a cracking pitch and all. I always seem to find really good pictures in dark. Which makes no sense whatsoever. It's like I'm going with my instinct, just go this way and pitch. But I've, yeah, it's been a cracking pitch and everything. But look at the tent. <laughs> she stands well. She stands beautifully well. There's that cloud there. The sun's trying to burn it all off. And it's a Saturday morning. Right, let's get me coffee. <clears throat> I feel like a pirate with this on my head. How would a pirate say good morning? Grr morning. <laughs> Grr morning. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, yeah. So, let's get this brewing mug. The, uh, the boil's on, the views are in. The views are in, look at that. And I'm happy. And I'm up, I hope you're enjoying this video uh, as much as I am making it. It's, um, yeah. You are my crowd, you are my mates watching this, I suppose, you know, even if I don't know you. Um, my name's Trev, pleased to meet you. <laughs> Now we know each other. Right, time to get this, uh, oh, I can't wait, it's on. What are we on about? It's time to get this brew on, it is on. We're on the brews, mate. Mate, you're not, yeah, we're friends, aren't we? Yeah, go on. Right, um, yeah, someone walked past the tent this morning, I thought, flipping heck, are we on a, on a trail here? But there's two wild campers, um, I don't know, I waved, but they didn't wave back. Don't know if they saw me. To the blocks over there, spring, near Sprinkle Town, on the hill with the two green tents. If you're watching, hello. <laughs> right, right, right. Time to get my coffee out.
Cheers. <laughs> yeah, this little um, OEX Hero. I recommend it. I really do. Um, it just boils. Obviously, you put less water in. You just put the right amount of water in for your brew. Um, it's compact. It delivers. I mean, that literally... It must have took me... It's like a minute. Less than two minutes to boil. It's like quicker than your kettle. Um, yeah, it's cooking on gas, aren't you? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, cheers and I'm so chuffed they got that. Uh, it's a good one. I recommend it. They've loads of stock in as well. They've always got them in uh, Go Outdoors. I did pay for it with my own money. I thought I'd give it a bash. I've seen a review on it with Mesner and uh, it's quicker than jet boil. Um, obviously, you're paying for the brown with jet boil, aren't you? And it's probably got... I don't know, one or two things about it that's a bit better with jet boil, but I'm happy with that. 45 nicker, you can't go wrong. Um, this is a good brew. <laughs> Saturday morning, it's a really lovely fresh morning as well. The best. Fresh mornings are the best. You can't beat it. I don't feel like I've done this for ages. I've not had a frosty morning for a long time anyway, where I've got out my tent. But yeah, that is a cracking brew. If you can see that rock, look at that rock there. It's quite a point on it. So I made sure last night, there's rock there as well. I made sure last night everywhere around the tent, um, on the ground obviously, there weren't rocks sticking up and <coughs> one rock I just moved out the way. Look at that one actually. Shoved that out of the way. So I've got a nice pitch. It's a beautiful pitch this. If you like pitch intense, this is a beaut. Let's just appreciate this this pitch. <laughs> it's a belter. Frost and everything. <laughs> Love it.
got my Kit Kat. I got my brew. Oh, I can't go wrong. I cannot go wrong with this. And I said that sun will come out a bit more. Dry my tent off. But uh, cheers. <laughs> with the Kit Kat and the brew. Mmm. Nice. Loving it. That's different, that. A chunky Kit Kat for breakfast. Oh, lovely. Nice, that. All right, YouTubers. So, I've spent the afternoon just mooching around here. Um, and I met two blocks called... Tony and Alan from Liverpool, Everton fans. Um, the tent's just been frosty. I'll show you. It's just been frosty and wet, so I've just left the tent as it is. I'm going to stay here again tonight. Uh, just got myself some water from the stream. Two bottles. <laughs> Filled them up. And, uh, yeah, going to get some tea on. It's just been a nice, chilled camp. Um, do you know what I mean? I've hardly seen anyone. The tent's out the way. Uh, it's just nice just to stay in one place. Um, yeah, there's only me and them two other guys. They're staying out tonight as well. And yeah, I mean, it's freezing. He reckons it's, it was minus one last night. Uh, Tony. Or Alan. And uh, yeah. It's just nice, you know, just to come to the lakes, have a little mooch around, eat some food, and um, I've enjoyed it. It's just nice to not do a lot, you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, time to get some food on. So there we are. that's where we're at at the minute. Um, no, I've really enjoyed pretty much doing nothing but enjoying these views. Uh, yeah, right, time to get some food on. Right, so we're on the Perry Perry. The OEX Hero is ready and waiting with water in it. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to give this more, at least I'm going to give it five minutes to boil and just cook instead of last night's food. Um, yeah, I think it were, in it, it were in there for a minute. Got to feel good. God, it's not, isn't it nice meeting new people that are nice and just chilling? That's what I've been doing. But anyway, back to this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to boil it for about five minutes and uh, enjoy it. So, I mean, last night, I think I tried to... I boiled it for a minute and thought it was cooked, but it weren't. Right, let's get cracking with this. Here we go, the coffee's there. And the food is here. Right, I hope I've left this. I left this one for about five minutes. And um, we're on the peri peri. There it is. It feels cooked. It looks cooked. Let's give it a taste. Yes, it's cooked as this. What oh, a nice warm meal. Just, just. Oh, it's nice. They're good, these. Peri Peri chicken. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I've got two of these. I might have another one soon. Then I'll be really full. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is it. 
This is the life. I think you can get all your fancy things. I've said this before on video, I think. You can get all your fancy things. Dreams of winning lottery and all that carry on. But if you've got a certain standard of health or whatever, and you can get out, pitch a tent, do it, leave no trace, and just feel this experience. It's, yeah. There's so many words you can say about it, but unless you've done it, you, you won't know, and you need to get out and do it and experience it. It's, I mean, it takes you back to being a kid, but you're a bit more prepared. We're talking to them fellas, and when, when I camped when I was a kid, I didn't remember having sleep mats or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? You were just happy to have uh, a ground sheet in your tent and get sleeping bags and blankets out and all that, but you know what I mean? Camping's come such a long way. It's affordable. It's doable. So get it done. Experience this. Bit of food. Bit of wild camping. Leave no trace and enjoy it. Mmm. Alright YouTubers, so I'm going to get myself warm, um, I'm going to listen to Beadle the Board, it's a spin-off from Harry Potter, listened to a bit of it last night, um, the tent is nicely frozen, um, it's a lovely clear sky, I'll just show you the tent, um, yeah she's, she's well and truly frozen. There we go, <laughs> that's a bit better. Um, yeah, but I'll be nice and cosy. I can't wait to get my boots off, get my sleeping bag, chill out. I mean, it's only, I think it's like half past six, but all the stars are out, it's, it's beautiful. It's a lovely night. Um, yeah, so I'll probably catch it in the morning. So yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Ooh. Right, morning YouTubers. Um, my sleep was on and off last night. Uh, loads of condensation in tent. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, um, time to get a brew on and pack up. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all good. Right, let's get it done. Let's get this brew on. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I think it was a bit colder last night. That's proper frost. Look at the tent. <laughs> right, let's get the brew on. Oh. 
All right, YouTubers, I've had a bit of a nightmare here. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's proper frosty. Look at the state of that. All right, so this is the view from outside the tent. And that's inside the tent. <sighs> that's real frost. <laughs> it's proper. I managed to get it off the mat. Laws just came in then. From here. Oh, wet. My, my mat's wet there, so I'm going to have to get up. That is a proper frost. So one thing I did do is keep my down jacket inside my sleeping bag last night to keep it nice and warm. So there it is, nice and toasted to put on. Right, let's get this on. Brush my teeth. Get a brew on. Why is fresh. Well, it's definitely been a frosty one. <laughs> Look at that tent. <laughs> yeah, but it, you know what? It doesn't feel that cold. It's hard to explain, there's no breeze, it's up still as anything. Um, I'm going to brush my teeth, get a brew on, and uh, get packed up, I think. I might have something to eat. Still got one of them chilli, uh, chicken, peri-peri chicken wafers, I don't have to have it or not. Um, but yeah, I'm going to brush my teeth and then uh, get a brew on. <laughs> it's beautiful out here, it's really beautiful. If you have a question why you're doing these things, just look at, I mean, just look at this, what I'm waking up to. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, I'm gonna brush my teeth. My breath absolutely hums. <laughs> All right, YouTubers, time to get the brew on. Uh, just caught some. <laughs> just caught the sunrise. Bit of the sunrise there. And uh, here we go. Morning. I didn't have the best of sleeps, but I'm not bothered. Um, I even chipped my tooth on a, a wine gum. Uh, somehow. A storm managed, a little storm managed to get inside onto the wine gum and I crunched down and I've chipped the inside of my tooth and I'll guarantee that could only happen to me or small children. <laughs> I mean, yeah. A small stone on a wine gum and a bit into it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's just it's just the it's just the way it is. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get this brew on. I mean, the sun is out, nice and warm on my face. I'm feeling it. Um, yeah, and I'm going to enjoy this last brew before I pack up.
cheers to uh, <coughs> a warm brew. And my tent is defrosting. <laughs> yeah, I've loved it. I've loved every minute. Apart from chipping my tooth, sort of wonder what I've done there. But uh, I'm sure it's um, some of any good dentist can sort out. <clears throat> do I recommend this little OEX stove? Yes, I do. It boils water in oof, a minute and a half. Um, 45 quid. It's compact. It's light. Recommended. Yeah. So I'm glad I used that. And uh, right, it is time to pack up now.